Being a solo on four swipe is sometimes a difficult task, but let's just say this wipe, one clan's mistake managed to make me have one of the most insane wipes I've had as a solo to date. Here's a sneak peek. How much did they leave open? No. Just like every video though, boys, you gotta start out on the beach, but it wasn't long before I found myself in some action. No way. No. No, what just happened? What the f just happened? I need any type of boom. I can make a satchel. What? I'm I'm shaking. I am shaking. They're coming back. Dude! They are so loaded! I need wood. I need a bag in here. They have externals. Oh, that's not good. I have no way to secure this at all. I can stack high walls. I can just stack as much GP as I can.
No. No. No way. No way. I can get all their loot out. I can greet it. Maybe. No. That should be all on timer, I think. Hopefully there's not another one. I think I killed them all off timer. Yes, yes. I ended up transferring all the loot out of their base into my small base, but I really had no desire of living here whatsoever as it had no real monuments to run. So I decided to spend the next 20 minutes or so moving all my loot across the map to a better area. Now that I was established and had a ton of extra loot, I did some necessary upgrades to the base and then I went out to get cards, but I got a little sidetracked at a base that I might be able to make a little quick profit off of. Dude, I bet you this is one door. I bet you this is only one door. Max two. Seeing that I had a ton of extra sulfur, I decided to make some satchels at base and go back and blow it, hopefully to just make some profit. Garage door, man. 
Oh my god. They're so loaded too. So much farm, dude. Damn, just easy. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I will take that. Surprised there is nothing else in here at all. Whatever. Given I just had an unlimited supply of farm, nearly a box of metal and half a box of sulfur still, I decided to set up an electric furnace setup that was fully automatic so I could just take a nap, come back, and everything would be cooked for me. Okay, it works. Let's go. After a little bit of a break, I wanted to see if I could get my hands on some tier 3 weapons, maybe a bolt, AK, something like that, so I decided to go do large rig. What is that? It's actually the most bunk crate I've ever seen. Still needing my hands on an AK, I decided to go do cargo also. Unfortunately, this was garbage as well. Oh my god. Zero seconds to spare. <laughs> oh my. taking Bradley right now? 4.30 a.m. if they're Eastern. So there shouldn't be, I mean, I'd like to think there shouldn't be that many here. It should be like one, two, maybe three. I have no clue if he was solo. Oh my. That was an insane crate. I'm counting on the fact he is solo. Do you have launcher? Okay, he did. Alright, well. Now that I was starting to make my presence on the server a little bit more known, and I was only solo, I decided to just focus on base with all the extra metal frags I got from my electric furnace setup, and I set up a sniper tower just in case I need to defend an online raid. Being pretty confident in how I could defend my base now, I want to do another rig run to hopefully get a little more loot and maybe some explosives. This was when I met the people who've been running rig on repeat though, and it turns out they weren't very friendly. He dropped him ball.
Holy shit, that scared me. I did not think he'd actually be there. Oh my god. What a puss. Are you fucking serious? After that fumble, I, I was pretty tilted, I'm not gonna lie, but I decided to run back. Unfortunately, I saw him driving back on a boat, so I knew I wasn't gonna beat him there. Decided to head to their base instead, and I guess everything happens for a reason. How much did they leave open? No. Dude, is it full deep? No shotgun traps. What the? They're, they're so stupid. There's a level two, I can stack walls. Explode, I can, I can raid it. I don't think I have enough on me though. Like with what's here. They have 200 explo, that gets through the door. I'm just gonna get what I can and get out and come back. Screw it, this is so much. I can't kill this guy above me just in case he has rust plus. Dude, I think I come back with boom. They just called in heavies. I got 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes starting now. At this point, I knew they knew, and they had at least three to four on, so I just decided to try and dip.
My only hope is to run and beam him off the roof. Fuck. <clears throat> I mean, I'll take what I got. There, there was a lot more on than I thought there was. There was like four on. I thought there was only two. I couldn't stay up there. They are just going to push me to GL. It's unfortunate. It's alright though. Now stealing that loot from them, I know it made them mad. Although I lost the raid, I wasn't very mad myself because I knew I had a chance to get online here. If anyone was going to do it, they were going to be the ones to because we live fairly close to each other. So I just kept going back and then I dropped my cords in chat just to push the issue a little bit. Oh, there is another one far. <laughs> Fuck, their mini didn't blow up. Now here's the problem I ran into. I just messed with them a lot, and they didn't end up coming for at least a couple hours, so I decided to take a break. Unfortunately, I fell asleep because I didn't end up going to sleep before, so I woke up to the rockets blasting, but unfortunately I woke up a little late. Oh, they were way deeper than I thought they were. They're already like way far in.
I think the other one died to my shotgun trap. Wait, I, I still have TC. They're one fucking door off. Was the, I thought that was my externals. They're pissed. After I actually woke up, the raid defense went fairly smoothly. There were three raiders in total, but I'm pretty sure one of them died to counters. I got their base resealed and they weren't very happy in chat saying they'd 4am offline me. Now instead of letting my rockets go to waste like I sometimes do, I decided I wanted to use them. I don't care if I lost the raid or won the raid. So I went to scout some bases and see what I could get up to. Hello? Hi. Hey yo, I'm not gonna lie dude, I was kinda coming to like ladder into your base, but now that I know you're here, hey don't try and shoot me, we're talking. Now that I know you're here, uh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, well, that wasn't me, bro. Have a good day. <laughs> He's getting an angle.
Oh! He pulled out the big guns. Back up to the roof. I mean, that was just a robbery. <laughs> After that robbery, I decided to go take Heli, see if I could get some extra explosives, and then I had the plan to go and online raid him. Oh my god, dude, that is crazy. Though. We send. If they're all on, it's like a 1v4. If it's just a solo, maybe this is winnable. Even though they have externals, I'm not going to be able to seal. But I just want to go out with a bang. I don't want to get offline. I can't stay up all night, dude. It's already late enough. Knock knock! Let's have some fun! I'm solo, you guys can do this. That could have been really bad. Dude, those shotgun traps are brutal. That's an insane.
Oh my. Fuck it. Nope, we're good. There's one time I need to stand up. Fuck. Did he? Boys, like always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was a crazy force wipe. Hopefully I'll get some more videos out soon. Thank you for all the support as usual. Appreciate it. Have a good day, boys.